Hi, it's Sammy with the House of Cat. Okay, and this information is going to blow your mind. This is an outpouring of the Holy Spirit. Okay, the outpouring of the Holy Spirit has been immense in these last days. If you need more information about how you can get your Holy Spirit active to reach Christ consciousness, please see my other videos. Okay, but right now we're going to be talking about God's parameters for life because He did give us a promise. Okay, of eternal life, but he did leave some instructions. Okay, you're going to recognize this as a number grid, this being the positive quadrant. Positive 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, positive 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Negative quadrant, negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And these two quadrants here are both positive and negative. This would be like white, light, positive things. Okay, this is negative, dark, evil things. And we're going to start plotting God's rules. Alright, he gave them most of us in a negative negative way. He said do not, you know, that not's negative. He said do not lie. Do not steal. Do not commit adultery. Don't covet. Don't make any idols. Don't take my name in vain. He did give us some positive things. He said, honor your parents. Keep a holy Sabbath. I said, I am the Lord your God. Have no other gods before me. So God wants to be first. Put God first in your life. Okay. So... We have some holes to figure to fill in here. Lying makes him angry. Telling the truth would make him happy. Stealing makes him angry. Giving would make him happy. Adultery would make him mad. Being faithful a little star there. Would make him happy. Coveting what we don't have. Uh, you know, being thankful for what we do have. Okay, that, uh, that would make him happy. Idols. No idols. Make him happy. Taking his name in vain makes him angry. But, uh, name in praise. Yeah, that makes him happy. I've right, got some blanks to fill in down here after name in vain. Honor your parents, well then, you know, dishonor parents. That would make him angry. Keeping a holy Sabbath. Well, desecrating the Sabbath. Okay, how many we got here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, God first in life. All right, so God not first. <laughs> that makes him angry. And now we still only got nine and nine. Now oh, we're missing one. Kill. All right, that makes God angry to kill. And um, what would make him happy? Well, to bring life. Okay. All right, so there you have it, folks. Narrow is the way that leads to life. Okay, wide and broad. Okay, that's the way that leads to death. Okay, because if you do all these, you do all these good things up here, but you, you have a, a steal, an unrepented stealing sin. 
You know, you can honor your parents all you want, but if you steal, you're still going to end up over here. You could tell the truth all day, but, you know, if you desecrate the Sabbath, you're going to end up over there. These are not hard things, right? Faithful. Just a quick note on faithful, okay? A lot of people say they're faithful. My stepdaughter, right? She's had all these different boyfriends, but she's been faithful to them all, okay? Well, that is nice. That's not exactly what faithful means. Faithful means picking one, sticking with that one and being faithful to that one, okay? Being faithful to them individually is, is, you know, way better than I was ever able to do, but not exactly perfect, okay? Um, desecrating the Sabbath, we talked, we're gonna do another video about exactly what it means to keep the Sabbath holy. Okay. This is the way, if you Google the way and Bible, you're going to see that the word the way is mentioned in there quite a bit when the apostles talk about the way. There's a way to get to God. There's a way to get to heaven. Okay, and it's a narrow way, but it's nothing you can't do, right? Tell the truth. That's harder than it looks, right? Because a lot of people like to joke around. Give being faithful, we talked about being thankful, what we do have, you know, coveting <laughs> about that. This whole world seems to covet what Best Buy has. All right? Got to stop shopping, people. The idols. Okay, that's a big one that the Catholics are probably unaware of because the Catholics removed that commandment from their list of commandments. Okay? That's right. <laughs> if you look in the Bible, in Exodus, the commandments, I think the second one says, make no graven image. You look up what the Catholics say the second one is, that's not it. They bump it up, and then they, they completely delete that second one, and they split the, the tenth one in half. That's how they still come up with ten. They, they don't covet your neighbor's wife and don't cover your neighbor's goods. They split it up, but... The Roman Catholic Church is pagan. It is not biblical. Okay. Putting God first in your life. First. First. Not your husband first. Not your children first. Not your job first. 